Action. Hello and welcome back to Sin TV. I'm your anchor Simone Smith and joining me today is Regan Ivy filling in for Kamea Spearman. Let's jump right into our daily announcements. Bonjour tout le monde. The French department has an amazing opportunity for any Sin student to host one of our exchange students coming from France on October 6th to the 26th. This will give you the chance to visit France in April and be hosted by a French student there. We need to fill in three more positions so hurry up. For more information please see Madame Dode in room 249. Merci. Please join the yoga club on Thursday, September 29th from 3.30 to 4 for a strengthening and relaxing practice. All levels are welcome. Wear comfortable clothes and meet us in front of Sen Hall at 3.30. Namaste. Are you looking for an extracurricular activity that will boost your test scores, build your confidence in public speaking, and teaches you how to argue better? The debate team is it. This year we will focus on creating a policy that could change how the U.S. outsources to sweatshops for textiles. We get ready for tournaments by meeting on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 3.30 in room 301. See Ms. McAllister for more information. Next up, let's meet another new SIN teacher. I sat down with new language teacher Julia Sands for an interview. I'm very lucky that I have very good students so far. I think I have um, four or five classes, five if we count the ESL class where I assist. And um, I think the students find that I speak a lot of French. Mm -hmm. I think they would hopefully say that I'm very fair. Mm -hmm. And I'm very, I try and be as thorough and available to them as possible. I think languages are hard. Yeah. Um, some people have more of an ear for them. They might pick them up a little faster. But for the rest of us, it, it is a lot of work. And I think there's a few students who have already come to see me for some extra help. Mm -hmm. And I think that they felt that they uh, were more confident afterwards. So I'm very pleased with that. So, so far, it's been a good start. I did my uh, coursework to become a teacher at Loyola, and Loyola has a very close relationship with Sen. So I found out through Loyola that Sen was looking for a French teacher, and there was an opening, and I applied, and I met uh, Mr. Escamilla, and I met Mrs. Beck, and they decided that they would let me on. If a student has their eyes open and they're paying attention to their peers and they're able to participate in a diversity, then they're going to find a whole world of viewpoints that are different from their own. They're going to find people who don't believe the same things they do. And that creates a dialogue. And it creates a dialogue about everything. Everything from sports teams to arts projects to how people approach homework to family involvement and activities. I want the students to feel as though coming to French class it might be hard, but they also feel as though they can say more, they can understand more, and they're adapting. I want everyone to feel comfortable as we go forward. Terrorism has been a major issue during the presidential election. Philip Johnson White discusses the recent terror activities on the East Coast. The suspect in Saturday's bombings in New York and New Jersey declared that the sounds of bombs will be heard in the streets and praised brother Osama bin Laden in a journal found on him when he was arrested, authorities said per CNN. Ahmad Rahami was charged Tuesday with four counts in federal court in connection with an explosion in Manhattan's Chelsea neighborhood and an unexploded pressure cooker found nearby. Rahami is a naturalized citizen of the United States born in Afghanistan. Ramahi's father was interviewed by the FBI after calling his son a terrorist due to the domestic dispute involving his family members two years prior. The motive of his attacks, according to his journal, was to retaliate against the U.S. for slaughtering Islamist fighters in the Middle East. The end segment is quoted as, The sounds of the bombs will be heard in the streets. Gunshots to your police. Death to your oppression. In all caps. The number of people wounded in Manhattan has been revised from 29 to 31. Two other unsuccessful bombings occurred in New Jersey last Saturday and Sunday. Rahami faces federal and state charges and is being held on bail of up to $5.2 million after the shootout with the police. His wife, Asia Bibi Rahami, left the United States shortly before Saturday's attacks and was stopped in the United Arab Emirates, U.S. media reported. She is cooperating with investigators, a U.S. official told CNN, and has not been accused of any wrongdoing via the telegraph. Let's turn it over now to Philip for his daily sports report. 
Hello, this is Philip Johnson White of the Sen TV crew, and these are your sports for the day and beyond. The Sen Bulldogs soccer team won Monday's away non conference game against Intrigue School by a score of 2 0 Monday and drew against rival Rick over yesterday, 1 1, improving their record to 3 5 and 1. The now 4 and 4 girls volleyball team traveled away to Little Village yesterday, losing both games. Be sure to support your Bulldogs at the upcoming football game this Saturday as they look to get back to their winning ways of Guernsey Juarez after their 42 10 loss against Sullivan last Saturday. This is Philip Johnson White for Sen TV signing off. Thanks a lot for that, Philip. I'm Simone Smith signing off. And I'm Reagan Ivy. Toots Magoots. Toots Magoots.